friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are focusing on this makeup look right here um this is actually my go-to saturday night glam if i'm out on a night out with all my girls in the town this is actually all i do um simply because i work all day every single saturday and i don't really have the time to sit down and do a anything different basically um so this is super quick and super easy it's honestly not time consuming at all it's actually two browns all over the eye and a little bit of liner underneath the lash line and a nice pair of lashes and you're good to go i uploaded this look the other day on my um socials and i got so much like good nice comments from you guys saying how nice it was and like blah 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 and i asked you what type of tutorial would you like to see and majority of you replied saying that you wanted to see this tutorial like see this look for a tutorial so pretty much because i'm wearing tan um i haven't done really much to my face like i haven't went as ham with the contour and with like the bronzer or anything because sometimes i think when you're a wee bit on the tanner shade um it can look a wee bit dirty and grubby looking if you go in with a lot of bronzer and contour products so i did use a little bit but i didn't use as much as what i usually do when i am on the paler shade which is a bit strange because usually i go darker <laughs> whenever i am pale i don't know why but anyway this look is perfect for beginner skill level advanced skill level somewhere in between as well um like i said it's not time consuming at all it literally only takes me about 30 minutes to do this whole entire makeup look but depending on your paste like how quick or how slow you do it then it's entirely up to you but um so yeah i just thought i'll sit down and i'll do a tutorial um and that is what I've done. So yeah, without further ado, let's get stuck in. So if you want to see how to create this makeup look, my go-to Saturday night glam, then just keep on watching. Okay, so literally I'm using the NYX Microber pencil in the shade brunette. So I go between brunette, chocolate and espresso. Um, just depending. Um, um, because I'm going for something like really really warm on the eyes I wanted to sort of make the brows a wee bit warmer if that makes sense um, so literally I'm just going to brush my hairs in the direction where the product is going to take place I have just warmed the pencil up on the back of my hand and I'm just going to draw slightly on the skin I like to draw on the skin slightly because I can give an illusion that my brows are thicker than what they naturally are I don't necessarily have a bad shape to my brow but I do want to make them a wee bit thicker so I'm just going to create my baseline and I'm just being really really light handed with this pencil here so I'm dragging it right down to the tail end of the brow remember the tail end of the brow always needs to meet with the tail end of the outer corner and then I'm just going to go to the front of the brow So literally what I do with my brows is now I'm just going to start to gradually blend this line out. You want to make sure that when you're doing this method that you can't really see that harsh line that you have just created. You want to make sure that it's nice and blended. So you're literally just blending out the edge or sorry blending out the line by just dragging more product up from that line upwards if that makes sense. I'm not being really too specific in the area of where I am placing the product around this area because I do have quite full hair here and this pencil is sort of similar to my natural brow hair anyway, like the colour of it. So you just want to make sure that you have blended that line out. Then I'm going to take my spoolie and just blend out even further. So literally all I have done now is I just went a slightly a bit above where my natural hair start and I created a bit of an arch for myself because I don't have much hair around this area of my um, brow. So I wanted to sort of give an illusion that that bit is more sort of defined. And then I'm just going to slightly go back over this area here, the other side of the brow because I filled this one in a lot more as opposed to this one so I'm just going to go back in with a wee bit more product on this side just 
to make sure that they're both sort of similar. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going in with my Helen A Stage Eyeshadow Primer and I'm using this as a shadow base. Um, you would think by looking at the tube that it is really, really peachy toned, but see to be honest, it suits like all skin colours and it literally covers like redness and all your veins and stuff that you don't want to see so i used to really love a really bright um sort of brow bone and stuff like that and a really bright base on the eye as we're now i'm not about that i just like it to be sort of the exact same color as like the foundation and stuff if that makes sense because there's actually no color in this so i'm using my brush from the cure daily this is our Geo collection, just a little small square concealer brush and what I'm doing is I'm pushing in and I'm dragging that product downwards and then I'm just going to slightly sharpen everything up. By the way guys, I'm really really sorry, I have to get my brows done, I'm trying my hardest to let them go out for a while and then like they'll be even more nicer whenever they get obviously reshaped and stuff again. So I'm just bringing this the whole way out and the reason why I've done my base first today is because um, I am going for like a more so more blown out, blown out look than I usually do. Um, so I wanted to have like my base and stuff done first because sometimes when I try and clean it all up with concealer and stuff it just literally like it just ruins the whole eye look. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take like a sort of flop like fluffier brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of, of product at a time on my eye and you want to make sure that you're patting this down and you're not swiping just make sure that you're patting it as opposed to swiping it in order to get your full coverage that you really really want so I'm now going to end with the third shade in the third row of the Morphe 3502 palette I'm using my Morphe M573 brush and what I'm doing is I'm starting in the center and I'm bringing this right into the inner corner of my eye and I'm just using my circular motions. I'm going to focus on this part of the eye first and start to blend and diffuse that product up towards my brow and then whatever's left on my brush I'm going to take that towards the outer corner of the eye and then get a clean fluffy brush and start to diffuse that product further in order to have that nice blown out smoky effect at the outer corner. Okay, so the next shade that I'm going to go in with is the fifth shade in the third row of the same palette. So I'm going to be using this palette through the whole entire look. And I'm going to go in with a 228 Luxe Crease Brush from Zoeva. This is like a more so tapered um, blending brush. I love these brushes for getting really into the crease and really, really getting like that definition throughout the whole entire eye. So this is going to be the darkest shade that we're going to be using through the um, lid and crease area. And then afterwards, I'm going to go back and forth and have a play a bit with the first shade that we used. You want to make sure that the two colours are blending like nice and seamlessly together. There's no harsh lines between the two and you want to make sure that sometimes when you go back and or sometimes when you go in with a darker shade sorry um your first color starts to disappear because the darkness is taken over the brightness if you know what i mean so you want to make sure that you go back in with your previous shades and just continue to have a wee play about and build them all up in order for them like the whole look to look symmetrical and like cohesive basically so I'm going to go in with the Luxe crease brush and the fifth shade from the fourth through of the palette and start to blend this throughout the whole entire crease basically I'm just doing the same entire um, method throughout the whole entire look starting in my center bringing it into the inner whatever's left bring it towards the outer 
and then I will go back and forth with my first shades and my clean brushes and making sure that everything's all nice and blended. So for my lashes I have just stuck down a little bit of geo glue and left it for 30 seconds to kataki in order for it to stick straight away. So the lashes that I have used is from my own brand the AK Pro Cosmetics range in the style Anya. So now that lashes and all is put on, we're going to move on to the lower lash line. So um, if you guys have been watching me, you'll know that I used to love the legs of the Maybelline gel liners and the, uh, what do you call that, collection gel liners. Um, but now I just find the gel liners are a bit too harsh. Um, I have been really, really loving the feline liner the eye pencil liner from MAC. This is so, 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 so good. It's so creamy. Um, it gives you time to work with blending it out and everything under the lower lash line or on top of the eye if you want to go for a really dramatic, dark, smoky eye. Um, the, I still would go for the likes of those liners now and again if I am doing something super quick. But if I really want to take my time, I will go and pick this up because it gives you a lot more time to work with. If I wanted to just leave this under my eye for an hour and then come back and blend it out, then I would be able to because I haven't set it yet with any sort of powders or anything like that, any sort of shadows. So I really highly recommend this one and I actually need to get a new one because it's almost run out. After I do that, I'm going to place a little bit of the 34 pigment from Helen A just in the inner corners of the eye and all the shadows that I had used in the 3502 palette from Morphe, I'm just going to blend those out all under the eyes. Um, when I went out on Saturday, I did do black underneath the lower lash line as well, like a little bit of black um, eyeshadow, but I'm not going to use black today. I just thought that um, using dark browns and stuff would be a wee bit more better, especially because it is daytime. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to speed it up. And stuff throughout this video let me know if this is something that you like better in my videos um me explaining what i'm going to do and what i'm going to use previously like previously before doing it and then going and doing it so let me know in the comment section below if this is better or if you still like the more in-depth type of videos Okay, so now that the eyes are all complete, I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to go in with highlight, contour and bronze and then blush and then, of course, my lips. Um, I'm still using natural daylight as well, guys, um, simply because my ring light is still broken. I've tried fixing it, it's not working. And also I've contacted the people and there's still no response. So let me know in the comment section um, if the lighting and stuff is okay because I have had a few people actually DM me on Instagram to say that they actually prefer this lighting better than um, 
like the ring light and like all the other like professional lighting um and looking back on the clips i actually really like it as well so let me know and also let me know if you like this setup better i know it's just like a plain wall but it's i think it's a wee bit more better than obviously being downstairs in a doll kitchen um so i'm gonna go in with the doll beauty um shine bright highlight mixed with the anastasia amrise and then i'm going to go in with my harmony blush by mac for my contour and then i'm going to go in with the dark mineralized skin finish from mac for my bronze i'm going to go in with the raisin blush by mac for my blush and then i'm unsure what type of lip i will go for but i will keep these posted on the details at the end So guys, this is the finished makeup look. Um, for my lips, I ended up using the MAC Cosmetic Space, yeah it was, Space Lip Liner. And then on top I used the Ciate London Patient Pig Lipstick in the shade Canoodle. Not really too sure about this lip shade to be quite honest, I think it's a wee bit too pinky for me. And it is my first time ever trying this, um, gloss out and it's very very sticky but I will wear it throughout the day see how it goes probably end up changing it because it's not really my lip shade like the shade for me at the minute especially because I'm wearing a tan but um yeah so this is the finished makeup look I really hope that you have enjoyed it um for my glow I ended up using the Doll Beauty shine bright and like a diamond um highlighter simply because i couldn't find my amrise i think i've actually left it in the studio but yeah so this is the finished makeup look i hope that you have enjoyed it um i hope that you have enjoyed it <laughs> really um this is the look that i wore out on saturday night and i did receive a lot of compliments for it or like for wearing it um and a lot of you did ask me to recreate it in a tutorial so i hope that like said a hundred times that just have enjoyed it if you have please give it a big massive thumbs up also guys please do let me know um in the comments if you do like this we set up better if you do like the natural light better as opposed to the studio lights um it would like mean a lot to me if you would help me out and let me know um because me personally i'm not really a fan of sitting downstairs in that kitchen anymore it just looks so dull um looking back on my photo or my videos like my last uploads so let me know in the comment section below so yeah without further ado let's finally end the video using the way around below on. um so if you have enjoyed it give it a big massive thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed um also i will leave everything listed in the description box below everything that i have used uh like products blah 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 um along with all my other social media so yeah guys thank you so much again for watching i love you all so much and i will see you all on my next one